Hi everyone, I'm Mary from DIY Montreal. Today I'm going to show you how to build this awesome bench made from nothing but 2x4s. The best thing about this outdoor bench is it's so versatile. Not only can you use it as a bench, but you can use it as a coffee table or even a footrest. The choice is yours. So stick around and let's build something. So the first step is the milling process. Now we're working with nothing but 2x4s as I said, but we have to make them go from round to square in order for this thing to look like a modern bench. So if you're not familiar with the milling process, I explain it step by step on the website and the blog DIYMontreal.com. I'll also put the link in the description there. So like I said, got to make all those edges nice and square using our planner and our jointer. Uh, I also have the specs and the whole cut list and material list for everything that you need for this build. So check out that link in the description there. So the next step will be the glue up and for me this was the most nerve wracking. So if I have one word of advice for you, it's preparation. Make sure you have everything ready so this goes smoothly. You'll need a lot of clamps, some wood glue and you'll need exterior wood glue so that's type 2 or 3 that's water resistant or waterproof. And you'll probably need a speed square and I recommend using a foam roller to apply your glue. At first I thought I would probably need to use either uh, some brad nails to hold this together in between uh, while I was assembling or I thought maybe some pocket hole screws but in the end this bench is kind of small enough that you can quickly roll on the glue and clamp it up without it drying on you. Once you've got it all clamped up as straight as you possibly can get it, let it dry overnight. Now I've taken all the clamps off and as you can see there are some imperfections, some boards a little higher than the others but that's not a problem, we can fix that with some sanding. Now you will be doing a lot of sanding in order to get the whole surface nice and flat and smooth. At first I was going to buy a belt sander because I thought that was probably the most appropriate tool for the job, but in the end I was able to pull it off with just my orbital sander. My recommendations start with 60 grit and get it as flat as you can, keep moving along the surface, and then progressively move to 120 grit and even up to 220 grit for a nice smooth finish. I've got my sander hooked up to my shop vac, but make sure you also wear a respirator or a dust mask to protect your lungs. The good thing is also if the feet are uneven on the bottom, you can also sand those down and make them nice and flush. So once you're done, your edges should be square and soft and flat and true. So because this is an outdoor bench, you need to protect it with some outdoor finish to protect it from the rain and the elements. I chose to go with Varda IKEA Furniture Protector and Stain. The great thing about this is a two-in-one product that uh, protects it both from the elements, like I said, and also gives it a nice honey brown finish. And it also goes on really easily, just wiping it on a single application, nice and easy. All right, the last step of this project is to install some furniture glides. And this is simple, just find the right size drill bit, screw in, sorry, tap in that plastic anchor and screw it in and you're done. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more DIY videos to come every week. All the links for the tools and materials I use to make this build are in the description below. And you can find more DIY projects on the blog at DIYMontreal.com. Thanks for watching.